Hello, I'm Stuart Moore, a lecturer in the Department of Library and Information Science in the School of Communication and Information and director of the Information Technology and Informatics program. And I'm speaking with Marissa Delmanto today about the ITI program. Hi, I'm Marissa. I'm a junior and I'm entering the ITI program. Marissa, you're a transfer student. There's lots of different courses and programs you could have taken at Rutgers. What prompted you to apply and enter into the program? Coming to Rutgers, transferring here, I did not think I was going to be doing ITI at all. I didn't think it was for me, and I just took it for fun, and I wound up really liking it. I had a great professor who really got me excited about it, and the jobs that would come out of it looked promising. We try to offer the skills and competencies that will allow people to use technology in any number of different environments. Commercial organizations, businesses, government, non-governmental organizations, all can take use of that and progress in their fields without necessarily having to pick that field today. Just being the first ones to learn about the new things and how we can use them is just really exciting. I can go to any company. I'm going to graduate with IT skills and every company needs an IT staff. The possibilities are endless. That's what's really exciting about the major. I think that's a really good approach to take to this. I think there are a number of different roles that people fill when they graduate from the program. Some people opt to be programmers, more heads down work and technical work, while others are project managers. Others want to be very closely related to the businesses or parts of the organization functions they serve and really help deliver the IT solutions to that group. What do you think will be one of the big things you'd like to get out of the program? Of course I want to learn the technical skills, but I also want to be able to understand people using the technology. What we try to do in the program is to teach about the technology itself, to teach about management and leadership in the field of technology, and very importantly that I think you highlighted is really talk about the human side of computing. Have you thought about internships as part of your program of study? I certainly want to do a, an internship, if not a couple internships. Our internships are three credit courses that allow you to work in some role. We have relationships with a number of companies where we try to help students move into those organizations in specific roles and those different functions can be anywhere from programming to web development to project and program management to desktop support. You'll find that potential employers really like to see an internship on your resume and we work closely with the students to help them find appropriate positions. You've just recently gone through the application process, Marissa. Mm -hmm. Were there any problems or issues? It was actually really easy. It wasn't difficult at all. I just went to the ITI website, clicked on the application link, filled out my information, and I had to write a one-page essay. So it was actually overall really easy. What we try to do is be as open as possible for people applying to the program. They need to have a grade point average of 2.0. They need to have completed expository writing and also then taken the gateway class. And once you've done that, there are three application cycles throughout the year in the spring, early spring in February, one in the summer, and then one in the autumn. If you were speaking to students who were considering the selection of a major Rutgers, what might you tell them about the ITI program? If you're looking for a major that you could do anything with, you could work anywhere, and it's really exciting, and it's up and coming, it's current, the ITI program is for you. It's still growing, and it's still current, and you could be doing anything.